before I came to Peace Corps Moldova, I was studying in Massachusetts where I studied political science and I finished in 2016 and moved to Moldova like 10 days afterwards and graduated and then came here. I was an airline pilot for almost 29 years and I was a military pilot before that for eight years. So I basically, I flew airplanes, jets for about 37 years and worked in the school system for two years and then applied for the Peace Corps about a year ago. If someone asked me now what my perception of Moldova is after living here for two years, I would say Moldova is complex. Um, the languages are complex. The landscape is complex. The life is complex. Um, I would say that Moldovans are hardworking, um, that they're trustworthy. Moldova is like uncovering more and more like layers to me the more days that I spend here. People. Um, don't want for the things that, you know, the people in America want. And they use everything here. I mean, that really surprised me, how they just used everything and nothing goes to waste. Shoveling snow in America, we shovel snow and it goes out in the, in the road and it melts. And I was starting to do that and my host mom said, no, put it in the garden. I go, whoa, you even saved snow here. de fapt pentru orașul nostru, pentru că știam sigur că aerul ăsta, pe nume Alex, va fi aer plin de oportunități. Că este o organizație care dorește, dorește să promovezi valorile, dorește să predai, să ne ajute cumva. Și chiar și limba engleză, cred că este, cu acum fenomenul de globalizare, limba engleză este necesar să o cunoaștem. When I, I was a student uh, in Kahul, I had a teacher from America. Uh, her name was Jennifer Lusk, and uh, I liked her very much. I liked the classes with a strange person coming from abroad. And I, uh, when we were uh, proposed, I accepted immediately. It, it was interesting for me. And this is uh, the first year we, when we work, we collaborate with a volunteer from the Peace Corps. And it's very interesting, it's very exciting for me, it's a new experience. Uh, my motivation to join the Peace Corps was just to give back. I needed to do something besides for myself. You know, the thing that surprised me the most was not that there was a huge cultural difference, it was basically we're all the same. You know, working with the kids, they're the same as the kids I worked with in the United States. They, they all do the same things, they all act the same way, they just do it in Romanian or Russian. I think up until this point, um, the, the happiest moment I had um, was in the, my second year. Um, both years I've organized events for International Day of Peace. Um, um, the first year I organized them completely on my own. I was new at the school, <clears throat> but in my second year, um, midway through the summer, I ran into some students and they said, we have this planned, we're going to do this, we're going to organize this event. We, we purchased a drone to take a video of our, you know, our event. And for me um, to see just after one year that the event that I had planned just as a way of quickly integrating into the community had become an, an event or an activity that students take took over completely on their own. For me, that was a great moment. Feeling that just a yell is too leader, boom, yell me some picat on project, and I trust you know, yell now, now, came out such a voluntariat, or what in English, yell a promovat voluntariat, one example, you open a 
quando não havia Itália, que se jogava na parte de voluntária. All, all the kids like Mr. John. They greet him, they want to play him, they try to, to share something with him. Uh, they like the, his attention and uh, try to communicate with him. This kind of people from Peace Corps, they are not uh, picked from nothing. And uh, that, uh, they are the pure example of uh, how a human should be. Impactul este nu mai pozitiv, adică le oferă elevilor mai mult oportunitatea să folosească această șansă de a fi un vorbitor nativ în clasă. De așa că tu mai vorbesc pe dânsă. Prin băile lui Lois, la școală, că vede bine. Dacă noi facem o lecție, când sună, am o altă clasă. Interesant că la fiecare lecție o întrebăm unde e. I think Oscar volunteers in Moldova now for the last 25 years have like continued to not just teach English lessons or health lessons, but to teach life lessons and to remind students of, of their worth and of their significance and their power to, to change their lives or when I watch like a light go off in a student's head about I don't know what like for me that's I'm receiving something um, I think I receive more than I give din astea. Și până la urmă a fost ca o provocare. La prima întâlnire eu eram cam sioasă, parcă nu mai simțeam liter. Nu închipeam ca să spot comunic cu el, ca să mă deprind, mă stăruiam, mi se că poate ceva nu o să-i plac. For future volunteers, I heartily recommend it. You know, fellow volunteers ask me that and it's, would you do it over again? I said, without a doubt, I would do it over again. There's hardships, yeah. There's things you uh, that will surprise you, but overall, the experience of being in the Peace Corps would be a tremendous opportunity. No, I am just such a nice woman, liniștit și primitor că am trăit ca cu fiorul nostru și cu Brad și cu Alex. Cum rămân amintiri frumoase? Și profesorii noștri au, își perfecționează puțin limba engleză, oricum noi avem dialect, avem accentul nostru, după asta ei sunt foarte mulțumiți, își perfecționează și ei. <laughs> yeah, I am glad that I became a Peace Corps volunteer. I think Peace Corps volunteers are equal part students and equal part teachers. Um, And I think that's one of the most important parts of our, our work here is that we're, we're willing to share and willing to learn, but also willing to teach um, at the same time. One thing that I've learned, and I'm really grateful that I've learned it from the Moldovans, is I don't need a lot in my life compared to what I had before. The things that I had in my life aren't as important as they are now. Um, I can see not having to need all the material things, being more resourceful. Wherever it is that I've like left pieces of myself, like in my travels and in like the different places that I have called home for a short amount of time. So for me right now, home is Moldova. And when I leave, I will feel like I'm like leaving this home to kind of find home somewhere else. <laughs>